everyone. Welcome back to The Spill Podcast. I'm your host, Vivian Rose. In this very special episode, I'm interviewing Pinterest It Girl, Ariel. Ariel, you can go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, everyone. I'm Ariel. I'm a Tumblr girl blogger, and I also have my own Pinterest account where I just post a bunch of stuff that I think will be relatable to other people. And I also am so excited to talk with Vivian about how to be a girl boss. My gosh, I'm so excited as well. Make sure to go follow her Pinterest account. I'll leave it all in the show notes down below. But make sure to, like, go check out her Tumblr blog. She has a whole Pinterest account. She has so much cool stuff. She posts girl blogs, like, almost every single day. So go check that out, especially if you were already on Pinterest all the time because it's super fun just to, like, go and, like, comment all on her posts because they're so relatable. So today, Ariel, well, let me say Ariel because my southern dialect, I just, like, say things a different way. I'm so sorry. But... (laughs) that's fine (laughs) because I'm from like the south so like I say things weird um but anyway so she's gonna be giving us all of the it girl step-by-step little like tutorial on how to be a girl boss so I'm so excited for this episode so let's get right into the first section which is like defining what even is a girl boss so if you're like brand new to this you don't know what a girl boss is you just hear the term so so much what would you define a girl boss as like how would you just explain that to someone that like has never heard of that I personally think there's so many ways to find what a girl boss may be, but I would say a girl boss is a powerful, smart, hardworking, confident, and empowering woman. I believe that a girl boss is always focused on herself and improving herself. She doesn't care about the opinions of others and self-validates herself as much as possible, and she's just truly doing her own thing. Yes, I literally love that. When I think about girl boss, I always think of like kind of like the aesthetic, like the that girl aesthetic almost. Like when you like yes. have your own like morning routine, like you have like a skincare routine, you say your affirmations, all that cute stuff. So like I totally, totally agree yes. with that. Now, who are some of Very your... Very hardworking. Yes, for like and productive. Like you always get things done, like that type of stuff. I literally love that. Oh my mm-hmm. gosh. So who are some of your inspirational girl bosses in your opinion? Like when you think about the name or the title girl boss, who do you think of? Just to name a few, I love Angelina Jolene, who definitely fits the empowering role. And I also will forever and always mention Norma Jean, who is known for her alter ego, Marilyn Monroe. And despite this next person being a fictional character, I absolutely adore Elle Woods for her confidence. And I mean, although she went to Harvard just to make Warner think that she's serious she came out with so much more than a boyfriend who treats her like garbage and this next person can play flute violin and piano plus in middle school she got perfect scores in math English and Korean it's a smart Jack Wenyoung from K-pop girl group I've and lastly I am so excited to mention her but she's a fashion icon she's smart she's confident and overall she checks off all boxes of an it girl and girl boss Vivian Rose. Oh my gosh, you're so sweet. Like, I just, I wish I could, like, give you a hug right now. I'll give you, like, Starbucks drinks. I'll, like, take you, like, a Sephora shopping spree. You are, like, the sweetest person ever. Like, I can't even right now. That is so Virtual sweet. hug, virtual hug. Yeah, yeah, virtual hug. <laughs> anyway, the, first of all, that was, like, a really cool explanation because I never, like, for some reason, when I think about Girl Boss, I don't know why, but, like, Angelina Jolie, like, I, I don't know why I didn't think about her because she is literally the girl boss even Lana Del Rey she like talks about her her songs and stuff and I'm like why didn't I think of that so I always think about people people like who are like big on YouTube like Fernanda Ramirez I think about her and like different people who just like yeah who have like those like productive morning routines who would just like literally like just full-on like they always turn in their assignments before they're even due like stuff like that I feel like that's so girl boss I feel like Angelina Jolene she has like that kind of like siren type of vibe to her yeah she can like change her like energy all of a sudden Yes, I almost feel like she's that like that femme fatale type of thing. I agree. Yeah, and like she always has that kind of like in all her movies, she always plays that like mysterious role. Like she's just like some sort of like like literally a girl boss, but like in the movie. And she always plays those roles and it's always so inspiring. You're kinda of, like when you finish watching right? Yeah, when you finish watching that movie, you're like, I'm I'm gonna like base my entire personality off of her for like at least a week. <laughs> okay next is confidence because being confident is like one of the most important things when it comes to being a girl boss because that's like goes hand in hand so 
Number one question with confidence. How would you help and guide someone who may be struggling with confidence and what steps would you give them? So this is a great question. If I were to like, because I would view it as a way of like, how would I help almost in a way my younger, even younger self, if that makes sense? Mm-hmm. So I really would just stop conf- talking badly about yourself because really what an impact is going to make for you? None. And a great swap for this actually is saying affirmations as much as you can instead of talking badly about yourself. You can even listen and repeat to the Spills It Girl Moto episodes. And the next would be ditching the negative side of social media. And I know people hate to hear this, but you have to get off your phone and then inside you know Mm -hmm. it's just like consuming you so you just watch videos that will uplift you instead of watching the videos that will bring you down and lastly is just learning to like fully trust yourself and also i remember vivian you said in one of your episodes that your mom would tell you to learn to love yourself before you love others yes and i really think that's a really important thing that you everyone should learn when they're starting their self-love or learning how to feel confident in themselves yes I totally agree with that and first of all let me say thank you because I love that you mentioned my little like section with Safia that is like the sweetest thing ever yes. that's like the biggest compliment thank you so so much but um, <laughs> um but I totally agree with you I feel like a lot of times when people are just like addicted to social media to the point where it's kind of like you've lost yourself in the mix of social media like you love social media more than you love yourself and like you can't even give up like TikTok Instagram whatever social media that people are addicted to they can't give it up because they love it more than they love themselves and I feel like honestly that's such a toxic cycle because it just keeps going on and on and just like literally like every day that's all you're doing like you always feel the urge when you see a notification go on your phone you're just going on it immediately and I feel like something um that really helped like me I wasn't addicted (laughs) to any social media or anything but like sometimes I'm addicted to like I like just like to be on my phone like online shopping I have such like a bad addiction to online shopping it's like oh my gosh, it's so embarrassing, but, like, so, I'm always online shopping, like, on Depop, um, (laughs) websites, it could be anything, and so, what I had to do, honestly, is, like, I had to unsubscribe to so many email newsletters, and then, like, turn on notifications for, like, different things that tell me, like, new things are out, like, Glossier released a new flavor of Balm.com, and, like, all that stuff that I feel like I need to have, but honestly, I really don't, I have so much lip gloss that I haven't even touched, and so, Um, I I went off like on a little tangent there, but I say all this to say that you have to be able to love yourself more than the addiction because when you're on social media all the time, when you're like talking bad about yourself all the time, it can be really like addicting to almost keep doing that. So I really think to make sure just to to, like do what um, Ariel said, because it's very, very, very true and watching different videos, like she said, like different videos that uplift you, like the Wizard Liz, you can watch like all those like really good self-improvement videos like Tam Kerr. She literally like when I think about self-improvement, I think about Tam Kerr and the Wizard Liz like they give like such like direct advice almost and I feel like a lot of people need direct advice like people beat around the bush too much when you're trying to like tell them like you need to do this to like be a best your best version of yourself you need to do this to be a girl boss honestly like I feel like those type of people they really like push you to your hardest and of course not like in a toxic way but they push you to your hardest like in a good way and yeah so I just want to say that because I feel like that's very very important and I really want to piggyback off of what you said because that was very like that was really inspiring <laughs> that was like really good <laughs> thank you yeah also I love them so much the was Liz and Tim Cara they're they're so like motivating like they just tell you like you said direct get off get off your phone start doing whatever you need to like start or whatever you're procrastinating on just start it because it only takes a second to get up and decide that you want to start to change for the better yeah it really is and like when you procrastinate different things you're like I see this quote all the time it's like you're missing out on the life that you could have lived and like that I have never gotten up so fast (laughs) like when I see that quote I'm like let me get up really (laughs) fast (laughs) okay next question are there any specific strategies or mindset shifts that have helped you on your own confidence journey so I've only ever had a few but a few strategies that I have had would include taking selfies every day to boost my confident confidence, 
complimenting myself. It could be walking past a mirror, or if you're walking past a mirror, you could even just say in your head. Or listening to self-love, YouTubers, podcasts, taking a full detailed day to just like focus on myself and self-care, just a full reset day. And for mindset shifts, this this is going to sound, to some people this might sound bad, but being delusional, because I'm very self-aware that I'm delusional. In fact, I actually have a shirt that says delusional, I'm proud of it. But sometimes I question if I'm genuinely, truly delusional because I know I'm going to get what I want in life and I will not stop until I get it. I don't care what pain and sacrifices I have to take and go through. I will succeed and I will get what I want and I will work extremely hard to get it. And just to name one more mindset shifter, it's realizing that being embarrassed is all an illusion. Something as simple as falling down, like especially now that it's like winter time, falling down on ice, it's not embarrassing or just something just out in the ordinary, learn to grow and use it as a lesson. Yes, I literally love that because I feel like a lot of times people, when they have like an embarrassing moment or if they do something embarrassing, like that just becomes what they're obsessed with that day. Because they're thinking like they probably saw that they're probably laughing about this. When they see these random people who didn't even see you fall, they're like, oh my God, they're probably laughing at me because they saw me fall. Like, girl, I was at school and now you're at Walmart. <laughs> so. I do want to say real quick though that when we feel embarrassed, we always have that like first instinct worrying about what other people think or we'll just start feeling insecure. And that's why I feel like you should really just start thinking that being embarrassed is all an illusion because you should nobody should be talking badly about yourself. No one is perfect. Everyone is imperfectly perfect. There's no flaws that we really have. That's so true. I completely agree with you on that. Like, that should literally be, like, in a book somewhere. (laughs) Because, like, everybody needs to hear that. That is so true. And I love the way you said, like, being delusional. Because, honestly, like, it's so true. Like, you have to be delusional to, like, get what you want. Like, to be able to just, like, be so delusional that, like, you know you're going to be, like, living in Beverly Hills one day. You're going to be, like, in, like, an apartment. You're going to be doing this and that. Like, I feel like you have to be delusional enough to be able to know that, hey... I may not have that right now, but I'm working towards that and I'm going to have that in the future. So I really do like, I love that. That is so true. Um, But next is our section setting and achieving goals because goal setting and achieving is literally like the biggest thing with being a girl boss because if you don't have goals if you don't have anything to do with your life then you're just going to sit around on your phone you need to make sure that you are making progress you're growing every single day so how would you go about getting ideas for what you want to be your goal so i love to set goals that move me closer to my dream self like in a way not only that but i use pinterest or just vlogs of people who i think I like look up to in a way. So Pinterest really helps me with my monthly and yearly goals since those are my bigger goals on Pinterest. It shows a lot more skipping details of certain people's lives in a way. So I really feel like Pinterest just gives me that perspective and vlogs get me the inside of, you know, little pieces that I really like from, like I said, vlogs. I feel like I repeated Pinterest and vlogs so much already, but... (laughs) You know, it helps me with my daily and weekly goals since they will show me, you know, like just stuff like, you know, you get bored of sometimes of the cycle of your life and you want to change it up a bit. Yeah, I completely understand. And like, honestly, I completely like do that too when it comes to Pinterest. Like, it's kind of like your bigger goals, like what you want to do, like in the long run almost. And like, if you have like your weekly and your like your daily goals, those are like building up for those big goals. And like, those are the goals that you like, you know, like, they're in your routine and I literally love that you said like vlogs and stuff because I get so much inspiration from like people's YouTube videos because like if you've watched I don't know if you watch her but it's a girl named Erica Diane do you watch her (gasps) yes I love her oh my gosh I love that you watch her we're basically the same person (laughs) but literally I love Erica like she's so inspirational to me like I love like just like her whole life almost like it's so it's so inspirational and I love the way that you can like see someone else's life and you can just like think about well I like how they do this like one thing I really like about her is the way she always makes time to like spend time with her friends even if she's not feeling like sociable she always makes time to like hang out with her friends so I was like 
I actually, that's something that I would love to have. I would love to be able to have that motivation in me to be, like, texting my friends first, asking, like, hey, what if we went to the mall, like, tomorrow? We got something to drink or something. Like, I feel like, honestly, like, her whole aura is so inspiring. It kind of, like, makes you want to get up and, like, do something, if you know what I mean. But, like, I literally, I love getting inspiration from vlogs, too. Right, me too. And I love her so much. Yeah, she seems so sweet, like, in real life. She seems so nice. <laughs> right and this is so random but like your voice is so pretty i feel like mine is so like it's so in your face and it's so like aggressive sometimes i get so excited when i talk but like your voice is so like pretty and it's like soft and it's kind of like i don't know like it's kind of it's literally like an eight girl voice like those voices like that you like hear like in the asmr stuff and like you hear like in like the subliminals and it's like oh my gosh like how do i get that voice it's so pretty <laughs> Thank you. A lot of people say that because I'm like kind of soft spoken. I'm constantly being told to speak up. And I love your voice. Actually, I love how you sound like excited a lot of the times. It really just like boosts my energy in a way like it makes me excited for stuff. I love your voice so much. Don't don't say that. Your voice is great. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my gosh. I am honestly like I always thought like I was kind of like I don't know if this makes sense, but kind of, like, aggressive when I talk, but, like, no, thank you. I'm going to remember that for, like, at least a year now, because every single time <laughs> I'm recording an episode, I'm going to be like, hmm, Arielle told me that my voice is actually really fun, <laughs> so I'm just going to make sure to remember that. <laughs> this is so fun. Like, I should honestly, like, we should do this more often. This is, like, this yes. is so fun. Like, oh, my gosh. I feel like we have so, so much in common. Like, this is ridiculous how much we have in common. This is so cool. I was, I think I was telling my mom, I was like, we have so many similarities. It's crazy. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I love that you told your mom. I told my mom, too. I was like, mom, so I'm doing, I was like, I'm doing a collab episode with Ariel. And she was like, oh, my gosh, that's that girl you're talking about. I was like, yes. That's the one, like, who's, I always tell her about, like, the uh, Girl Blogger Awards. And so, like, anything that happens in the Girl Blogger Awards, my mom is basically, like, in the loop. And so, like, I always tell her, like, who's who and, like, who's this? And she knows everyone. So, like, she, she definitely knows you, Ariel. So, <laughs> she knows you. I'm famous. All of a sudden. What advice do you have for setting achievable goals? So my biggest piece of advice would probably be setting small goals. And the reason why I will forever stand by this because it's it's just because something as simple as stretching, washing your sheets, cleaning, meditating, so many other small effort goals can be life changing. And I feel like this appeals to the law of least effort, which is that when you put in the least effort, you will get the largest amount back. So doing something like for your health, like taking supplements, will improve your health drastically. Yes, I completely agree. I feel like honestly like that, um, that quote that I heard on Busy at Pretty, I can't remember the exact quote, but she was saying something like your dream life or like your key to success is hidden into your daily routine. And so... I love that, honestly, because it's so true, like, honestly, like, how you were saying, like, different things you do, like, in your day, like, different things that you just, you know, that's, like, in your night routine, your afternoon routine, whatever you do, and, like, honestly, I feel like these different things that people get in the long run, like, a month from now, it's literally in what you do every single day, like, in, like, the self-discipline aspect, I know that's, like, literally nothing to do with that, but, like, it just kind of came to mind, and so I was thinking, like, that is so true, like, I almost feel like I, I gave you a question, and then you gave me an answer, and then it's kind of like I also have, like, the exact same answer. <laughs> it's so crazy. I swear we think the exact same. <laughs> I feel like I'm laughing the whole episode. I, I'm laughing, like, the entire time, but it's so fun. <laughs> No, this is great. I love this so much. <laughs> it is so fun. It almost feels like FaceTime. Oh my gosh, it almost feels like right? FaceTime. Yeah, yeah, this is so fun. Okay. I feel like, because like when I was, I was like, this is going to be so like a serious thing. I got to be serious. I got to be professional. And we're just laughing. It's great. I <laughs> the whole so time. <laughs> yeah, 20 minutes of laughing. I love that though. <laughs> it's, so, it's so fun. Like it just like makes you feel like, almost like at home you know like sometimes when you feel like you're in front of like your class or whatever or if you're talking in front of serious people it's kind of like okay I have to be serious right now I have to act my age for for like a moment and then like when you get that with your friends you're just like cutting up the whole time you're like, look at this meme I found of Killian Murphy like oh my god yes and you're like so chaotic there's yes. so much chaos <laughs> and I feel like the chaos there's peace in the chaos somewhere like it makes me yes. feel happy <laughs> That's crazy. I cannot believe you think the exact same way as me. Like, you're literally <laughs> my bestie now. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> 
Okay, so how can someone stay focused and motivated while they're working toward these goals? So discipline, in my opinion, is the absolute key to staying focused. And as for staying motivated, what I always do is I think of the after result. Think of how good you're going to feel after doing something like Pilates. It's going to make you feel so good. Just motivation, you know, is what gets you there. And discipline is what keeps you going. Yes, I've, I think I heard the Wizard Liz say something like that. Like how she was... Yes, I think that's where... I actually... I remember I saw a quote like that somewhere. Yeah, oh my gosh. Literally, like, we have the same feed now on Pinterest. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> literally the Wizard Liz... Like, her quotes are literally, like, worthy to put, like, in her own book. Like, if she just had, like, a book called, like, the Wizard Liz Collective Poems or, like, quotes or whatever, like, I would literally yes. spend, like, $20 on that. Anyway, so the next section is navigating challenges so navigating challenges is very very crucial because literally every single day most people go through challenges and so it's kind of hard to get back up after these things so how do you approach and navigate challenges as a girl boss so for me i always try to stay you know like have a positive mindset with whatever challenge comes my way i also tend to overcome it slow pace instead of rushing to the finish line just like the popular quote states slow and steady wins the race so mm -hmm. if i start to doubt myself then i'll listen to music and hype myself up which helps me maintain a positive mindset but overall just like i said making sure that i have a positive mindset and even if that means taking a step back to just reflecting and making sure that i'm maintaining it um truly is so worth it to just take that step back Yes, I love that. I love to think positively. And honestly, like, even when you're in negative situations, like, I feel like there's always, always something to, like, be grateful for. It's always something positive to look at. And, like, even if you're, like, if you feel like, like, the world is about to end, it's probably not about to end, but even if it feels like it is about to end, like, I always love to just think about, like, well, what can I be grateful for in this second? Like, what can I be happy for? What has this taught me? I'm leaving with like a whole new lesson now. And so I just love thinking about like those little positive mindsets and just like navigating things like literally as a girl boss, but like literally in a positive way. And it's so fun. But next is, can you share a specific challenge that you face and how it um, contributed to your growth as like a girl boss? So this is a great question, by the way. So a few years ago, I became homeschooled, and I went from an extrovert who was kind of outgoing. I was still a bit shy, but I went to, like, a completely closed-off introvert. And because I was so used to being around, like, a bunch of people and then leaving to become homeschooled, that's took a really big toll on me, making me feel very lonely. And eventually, I went to my phone to feel my void of being lonely which evidently led me to being addicted to my phone and a lot of the times i would be on my phone procrastinating or whatever and it got really bad to the point where i wouldn't get sleep because i would be up on my phone i'd be on my phone instead of doing school to even this is gonna sound so bad i'm honestly about to feel so like ah um <laughs> just giving showers i also had like the same cycle every day eat school sleep repeat and that was all I did for maybe about a year so I got so fed up with it of doing like the same thing every day so I was just like I'm gonna change for the better so and of course I didn't change overnight and it takes time in fact I'm still learning struggling with a bunch of things going on to this day so the reason I and actually the reason why I chose this story over all my challenges is because I've learned to enjoy being by myself and the outcome and learned, learned the outcome of my bad choices and decisions that I've made. And I've learned to use my phone only for the good reasons and just purposes and delete all addicting and just apps that will get to that point of addiction. And just overall, it led me to my peace and also the reason why I like being by myself so much now. Yes, and I love how you said, like, how it's different, like, you enjoy your alone time now. It's kind of like that quote, like, it's different, like, being lonely and being alone are, like, two completely different things. Like, being by yourself 
and then being like lonely like I feel like lonely is such like a negative word almost like it makes you feel like wow like I'm by myself I'm sad I'm like depressed but then when you feel like you're alone it's kind of like more like the way where it's like I finally get some like a long time I'm gonna like read I'm gonna do some poetry I'm gonna watch the, my favorite tv show I'm gonna listen to like my favorite music and I just love the way like you you got back up from that like that is such a girl boss move like so a lot of Delray vinyl like that was literally everything <laughs> I love how you like listed a bunch of ideas. I really hope people can take from that are listening can take that those ideas. Yes, and like honestly, it's so it's so like inspiring almost like to just learn from your own challenges and like to think about like I used to be like this, but now I'm like this, and so it's like you you grew so much, and I almost feel like sometimes like I grew like ten years worth like in two years, and it's like ridiculous. Like I feel like sometimes like I grew like literally like someone would when they're like from like twenty to thirty, but I grew that between like a span of like two years. It's crazy, <laughs> right? I love that, and I especially love that for you that you feel that way. Yeah, and like, oh my gosh, that's so true. And I just cannot believe you're homeschooled too. We are, I, know, I said this before, but we are literally the same person. Like, you're homeschooled and I'm homeschooled. It's crazy. Yes, I said that on your vlog. That's how I found out. Like, that's one of the things I was telling my mom. I was like, we have so much in common. Yes. We love, like, fashion. We're both homeschooled. We both love to read the Bible and stuff like that. Yes, and, like, I feel like it's so hard to find, like, the girl bosses who are also Christians. Or, like, like just, not just Christians in general, but, like, almost just, like, religious in general. Like, people who, like, actually believe in God. They love God. They you know they say thank you they pray like different stuff like that and I feel like it's so hard to find people who are like religious but also like girl boss at the same time and like literally like yes. when I found your account I was like no way this is real <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> I, I think it's especially hard nowadays in this generation of people who like they've just like completely lost all their faith for practically anything and even themselves their selves yeah like it's just people just like almost this sounds wrong people almost like just throw themselves away in this generation that they just like do whatever it takes to like be liked by people and honestly like it's just oh my god it's sad almost like it's really sad and I'm like guys well, what happened like this one generation got completely messed up and what was like the the generation before was perfectly fine like the millennials like what happened to us <laughs> yes but you know you're here you have your own podcast to help people out like you're you're helping change to change the world yes like all the gen z girls who like need like a christian religious bestie like i'm right here for y'all me and ariel we are both <laughs> religious <laughs> we are girl bosses <laughs> we are here for you all. yes <laughs> next is embracing failure and learning from your mistakes so how can someone embrace failure and use it as a stepping stone towards success so i want to first start by saying that the most successful and well-known people have failed before and it's practically impossible to go into an industry and not fail and make mistakes and instead of beating yourself up over something like a bad grade work harder and take it as a sign to keep moving forward don't quit because that's not going to get you anywhere so keep striving towards success and then you will start to smell it coming your way most definitely i love that sounds like something Jaden haley would say <laughs> so cute <laughs> okay next is are there any specific lessons that you've learned personally from your own mistakes that shaped you into who you are now that's kind of like similar to like the past thing that you said but i don't know if you like I don't know, like, if there's any other different thing that you've done in the past that kind of, like, just make you feel like, wow, like, that's really shaped me into who I am today. I wish I could, I, I'm going to go over one, but I really wish I could go into, like, my most tragic story, <laughs> but I do, like, stay a bit personal and private, but I will share a couple, like, two. So, this one actually happened to me recently, and I realized that I wasn't acting like myself, like my true self around certain people because I was trying so hard to please these people. And the worst part is I didn't even realize it until a few days later. And it's been a while since I've tried pleasing people. So I was really shocked with myself. And since I always surround myself with good people, for example, like my best friend, who I'm pretty sure she's she's going to listen to this podcast because I told her about it. Um, <laughs> I was like telling her, um, yeah, anyways. So she's always supported me. And same for like 
my parents, they've always supported me a lot. So this was just a huge sign that these people need to get out of my life as soon as possible and I need to protect myself. And the last mistake I'll share is, I feel like it's really common for a lot of people, but making mistakes for yourself, making mistakes for myself. I actually, I shared this on my Tumblr blog and I was saying that you should not do this mistake, like try as much as possible to not do this mistake. Everyone is human though, so we all will make mistakes um, every once in a while, or if not, sometimes even every day. So I did make that mistake. And in order to stop this mistake, I needed to take a step back, to reflect on myself and take time to point out, why am I making excuses for myself? What is making me feel this way? And why do I feel the need to even start this when I know that in these excuses are not going to do any good for me for one and two, they will benefit me. Why am I doing this? And, you know, I would journal it. That is literally everything. Like y'all, like all my girls who are listening, make sure like to think about those questions for real. And like, you can also journal those questions. Like if you feel like you're in that type of, like if you're in the midst of like that type of feeling right now, then you can like journal those questions. It can really like help you with like almost like shadow work prompts. And they can really just like think about like, why am I truly doing this? And not just like the mask that you have on to like, fool yourself but honestly thinking why am I doing this and like why am I changing who I am around certain people like is does is it because I want to be liked with these people is it because that I want these people to think I'm cool like what is it and I really thought that's very important and I really feel like you literally handle that like a true girl boss like literally like I'm inspired now like I almost feel like I'm about to like <laughs> completely like be a whole that girl for the rest of the day <laughs> The fact that you're saying you, you've you gotten inspired by what I said is honestly such a compliment to me because I actually, I think, um, I honestly think I've repeated this a bunch of times, but I get inspired by you 24-7. And like I said, like your voice gives me that like fun, energetic, makes me feel uplifted. So when I listen to your podcast, I always get inspired and you always just make me feel so like my energy is honestly just immediately lift it up or when we're chatting you're always like you know you're hyping people up or you're like complimenting me or others just a bunch of people and you know you even have your own podcast and blog to help the girls out literally oh my gosh that is like i'm gonna like literally think about this and i'm gonna like listen to this part of the episode whenever i need like a little pep talk <laughs> i'm gonna be like well ariel said that that like i inspire her so let me keep being a girl boss like i literally love that you are literally an amazing person and i'm so happy that we were able to record this podcast episode please 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 be sure to go follow um ariel like on her pinterest she has like a whole tumblr blog it'll all be linked in the show notes down below because literally if you like my podcast you are going to be completely obsessed like i'm talking to like whole 360 obsessed with her tumblr blog it's so cute she has like the cutest pictures it's all pink and it's just like it's even called ariel's lip gloss like who isn't intrigued after that name so make sure to go check that out because it's the cutest thing ever and i literally am so obsessed with ariel's content it's always so uplifting and motivating so and i just had so much fun talking with you today this was like the best thing this is like the highlight of my week <laughs> Me too. Thank you so, so much for listening. I truly love recording this. This was like the funnest thing ever. Please be sure to let me know what more episodes you want to hear in the future. And I will see all of my girls next week. Bye.